Hi, Smart Home Sunday. I'm working on my writing system at home. I am going to use Home Assistant for it, but today I'm sidetracking just a little bit and I'm talking about Philips Hue and in particular Philips Hue Bridge. I wanna show you a few things today on how you can use the API to make changes, make adjustments. Why not? Let's dive in. We'll just go through a couple of simple steps and then we can get into the more complex stuff later on, like saving scenes, creating scenes, recalling scenes. So you might remember some time ago, I drew this little diagram and I have a plan with Home Assistant that at certain times of the day, I will just select a particular Philips Hue scene. And what I started to realize is that, well, I want to set very specific color temperatures depending on the day, time of day. And then I needed to find out how can I know exactly what color temperature is selected. I mean, energize, concentrate, re relax. It doesn't tell me how many Kelvins are there. Now, little globy friend here next to me, uh, this Philips Hue light globe is capable of 2000 Kelvins, which is the warm candlelight, all the way up to 6500, which is kind of like what we have here. What I'm going to show you today is that if you connect directly to the Philips Hue bridge via the API, you can tell it exactly what color temperature you want. Yes, you can't do this from the app. No, there are some other third party apps that you can buy that give you this kind of control. But I wanted to see if I could do it directly to the bridge via the API for free. And I have, and I've done it. And I'm going to share it with you today. So the first thing to do is you're going to have to dive in with some confidence to the Philips Hue developer portal. So go and create yourself a profile there because you're going to want to read up on the API documentation and it's behind a, uh, a login. Then you're going to actually ping your bridge so on your home network, here you can see my bridge has this IP address and then debug and clip. Now I've already got this loaded up. Let you know, this is a username that I've created. You'll find some very easy instructions there. Uh, I'm not well, easy, yeah they are, they are fairly, fairly easy. I'm not gonna step you through how to create a new user and connect to the bridge because I really think you can do that yourself. Uh, and if you can't and you fell at that step, well, I suppose I could do one. But let's get into the fun stuff now. So here, if I get information about lights, I can see down here in command response, some information. There is a light one, it is on, it has brightness of 120, it has a hue value, saturation value, some XYs, we'll talk about those in a moment. And look at this color temperature, 153. What does that mean? Well, we are going to have to talk about this little diagram here. Not a bad diagram, and in fact, this diagram is in the Philips Hue developer portal. And without getting into too much detail, depending on which light globe you have, that'll depend on which one of these triangles your globe is capable of reproducing. So this light here, is uh, gamut C. How do I know that? If I go back and look in this debug tool and I scroll down, more information, more information, look at that. Color gamut type C. So this is telling me this globe is capable of the colors within the blue triangle. So this documentation is from Philips Hue. And what I'm most interested in though, is adjusting the whites. Okay, colors are great, but I just want to adjust the whites throughout the day from the bright through to the warm. And this lovely little black line here represents color temperature across the shades of white. Here's a better picture, there we go. So, all I need to do is pick a number along this line and I will have my desired color temperature. Actually, it's even easier than that, but this visualization gives you an idea of what we're talking about here. So the black line are the whites. There is a little formula, 
And the formula is this. It's the micro reciprocal degree, uh, otherwise known as the MIRED. It's also known as the MIREC, but that name didn't seem to catch on. That's the one that's in the Philips Hue documentation. No, they didn't invent the term. But here is the formula. So 1 million divided by what color temperature you want, that's going to give you the MIRED number, and that's what we can tell Philips Hue to do. So let's try it out. Calculator. There we are. So 1 million divided by, let's go with 2,000 Kelvins. Divide by 2,000. It gives me 500. All right, so to the tool, I'm now going to make an adjustment. I'm going to, I won't adjust brightness, but here, simple command, uh, I'm gonna go and take control of light number one. So I need to add a slash one slash state is what I want to adjust, the state of the light and in the body color temperature. And I'm gonna change this number to 500. And then I'm gonna put that state into place. Did you see that? Do you want me to do that again? I'm gonna change it back to what it was, 153. Oh, that's bright. Now let's change that again to 500. I'm gonna put it in place. And it works. So, if I would want a particular color temperature, somebody wants for some reason 2,750, well, 1 million divided by 2,750 kelvins equals 363. Let's find that 363. Put it in place. There you go, 2,750 kelvins. That is your color temperature. And what's interesting when you start digging into the details of how these globes can be talked to from the API via the bridge, there's kind of all sorts of fun stuff you can do. I think I'll dig some more into this at a later stage. But this is all I wanted to show you. I have now found a way when I start reading the research papers on what color temperatures are best for morning and afternoon and evening, and they say something like, oh, you need 2,870. Well, now I know how to get my light globe to actually show that exact color temperature. So that's the reason. Now you know how to do it also. So let's have some fun and create some next level adaptive lighting. <laughs> I just, sometimes want to be able to tell the light globe what I want to do. So it's like, change color, do it now. Oh, I need to program it in. Uh, yeah, do it now. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> I'll see you next time with another Smart Home Sunday on the way. Well, gee, maybe next week. Thanks for watching. Uh, any comments, any thoughts, feel free, put them down below. I might even explore this a little bit more in future if you're interested and you can always subscribe along if you'd like to see some more videos on Philips Hue, API, Home Assistant and other smart things on a Smart Home Sunday. Bye.